Good afternoon, everyone. Steve Georgia here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It's May 23rd. A uh, real busy day once again uh, as far as these markets. A lot of volatility. We're seeing that come in. We saw that yesterday. We did not disappoint again today. Everything started off quite a bit lower. Corn ended up finishing six, uh, about six cents higher for July. Um, December up, uh, up about a penny. So we had corn finish higher. That's not too bad after what we had seen yesterday. July corn was down 36 cents yesterday. We saw that recovery. We closed that contract, the July contract today, uh, back above the six dollar area, 603 and a half. We found some good support today near these lows. And uh, we did have a pretty solid close, but we've got to see this continue. We've got to see some strength tomorrow. Um, the beans. Beans down about 19 cents for July, down 24 for November. Beans had a very negative chart pattern yesterday. We saw that follow through today as far as selling. Uh, we did find some good support in that July, uh, down near that 1350 area. Uh, but continue to watch that. If we end up taking out some more of these support levels, uh, we could see a, a, a further setback. These funds are extremely long right now, beans, and that's why we've got uh, we've got the potential to go down further than we we ever thought we could. These funds start getting out because of some of these other reasons, which I'll go through in a second. Uh, we'll we could see these beans push lower than than we actually need to be. But we've hit some good support right now. We need to hold these levels as we go through uh, we go through this week. Uh, the wheat down about 20 cents for July. So the only thing higher today was was corn. Uh, corn up about six, as I said, for July. July wheat down 20. The reason we had seen this, the wheat corn spread. You know, we've seen wheat rally quite a bit over the last uh, the last several weeks, uh, and corn uh, not really follow along. That spread got extremely wide, and actually that spread just yesterday had gotten to uh, a 15 month high for that spread. Got up over that 70 to 80 cent mark. Uh, that's wheat over corn. And uh, we found that coming back in today. A lot of guys talking that we needed to see corn catch back up. Uh, now that we've seen wheat rally as much as it had, uh, feeding wheat uh, doesn't really work anymore. So they've got to go back to corn. That's put more demand on corn. At least that's the idea behind it. These spreaders that were buying wheat, selling corn, are now starting to shift that, and we're starting to see that spread come back in. That's a big reason why we saw wheat down again today uh, with some support for corn. So continue for that to, to, uh, to take effect and maybe look for that spread to continue to narrow in uh, over the next few sessions. But that may be supportive on corn. That may be actually a little bit negative here for that wheat uh, as we move forward. Uh, a lot of other news out there yesterday. Uh, part of the reason why we had seen corn down as much as we had, rumors that China was shifting some old crop purchases to new crop. Well, no confirmation on that today. We did not get that confirmation. Um, but also no new sales today as well. Guys are expecting now that we're near $6 for July again, and we dip below that, what have, what, what have we done the last few times? Well, China's come in and bought. We've seen big purchases for corn. We've not seen that yet. So there was nothing reported again today. Uh, but something else that's kind of weighing on these markets, not only the grains, but also a lot of these outside markets, is uh, is this European debt crisis. We mentioned this yesterday, still a big concern. Uh, and it's going to remain that way. What's Greece going to do? Uh, or what are they going to do with Greece? Are they going to kick them out of the euro? Uh, or are they not? Uh, what are some of the repercussions of that? What could happen? Um, so we still have a lot of uncertainty right now, which... In turn, the safe haven guys are, are getting into is the dollar. The dollar right now up uh, up very strong, up 60 cents. So we're at 82.25. We had a high today of 82.36. This is important because for the contract, contract highs are at 82.29. We made new highs today. If we're going to see us close strong today and we see another good push here throughout the week, I mean, there's no doubt about it. This market's in an uptrend right now, and that's been the safe haven is get into the dollar. The charts look strong. They may continue to look strong as long as we continue to see uh, these concerns out of Europe. So look for that to happen as well. Uh, as far as cattle, we had more of a risk-off type mentality today uh, with a lot of these other markets, stock market breaking back, crude oil dropping below 90 bucks a barrel. Uh, we had a we had more of this negative influence today, more of a risk-off type mentality. Uh, flowing into the into livestock, 
But, um, you know, we were following some of these outside markets. But not only that, we had a cold storage report yesterday uh, that was bearish on, on, uh, on cattle uh, as well as hogs. Uh, but a box beef today, we had choice up 73, select up 49 as far as the midday price. Uh, but cash cattle, cash cattle traded $2 lower today down to 121 And uh, that just uh, that helped fuel this, this push lower. But we'll see what happens tomorrow. We did. We are still holding some very good levels yet for cattle, uh, and hopefully we can uh, we can find some support and try to rally out of here. But we need to see more of the economic situation uh, take effect and actually start looking a little friendlier. But as far as hogs, down a dollar thirty-seven in June, eighty-four forty-five. So we're getting back. We're, we're we're giving back a lot of these gains that we've seen over the last few weeks. Uh, that low down below that eighty-three area. Almost, I mean, it looks like we could go down and try to hit that yet. The cold storage report, as I mentioned, was bearish, uh, and we've got, uh, we do have some some issues right now uh, with this demand that we've got to get through. So I would not be surprised, maybe, to see us uh, work sideways to a little lower yet uh, over the next uh, next week or so. Um, but midday prices, the Iowa Minnesota down about 97 cents. Uh, that certainly didn't help things out either. But, uh, you know, a lot of information that I've thrown at you guys today. Certainly stay in touch with us. Give us a call with questions that you have uh, or any kind of concerns that are out there. Uh, give us a call, 800-262-7538, or check us out right on the web, allendale-inc.com. I uh, hope you guys had a great day today, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.